Jasun Okraho from Scatterwork to talk about mastering your online project. The scenario is that you or one of your subordinates has been given a significant real world challenging once off assignment. Let's call that a project. And your team are in different places and we'll call it an online or a virtual project. In reality, most projects are like that nowadays. It's very unusual to have everybody sitting in the one place. And of course, the risks in a project always include poor communication. And in a virtual or an online project, then the risk of poor communication is even higher, particularly if people speak different languages, they're in different time zones, they have different cultural interactions and so forth. So what we do is we have a, a simulator like this and alongside it there is a project plan which we have to complete. We put your people into teams of three or four people and each of them has a copy of the project and they have to do the plan, put the right people against the work so that the project will be carried out on time. Then the clock starts and every now and then they get a message, maybe somebody walks into the office with a message or it comes in through the computer and the message says, um, oh, something has happened, maybe somebody is ill or equipment has broken down and they have to change the plan. Now what we do is run that for a while and then we stop and when we stop we ask ourselves or each team asks themselves, what did we learn? from the interaction and this is called experiential learning experiential learning it means that they learn from what they did themselves did we have bad communication did we understand each other and um, why did we make wrong decision and so forth well what do we get out of it well what happens is that when we start off, particularly if the people are in different places and don't know each other, people are very reserved and they find it quite difficult to plan the project. But the further they go, the more they get involved in it. It's very game-like and the result is that they get to know each other very genuinely at a personal level. Now it's obviously much much quicker and cheaper to run a simulator like this for a project team to get them going than it is uh, to do it on the real project. And it has the additional advantage of course that people have different types of project experience but each person gets a feel of where the other person's experience is and, and it melts together all their experience. So who is it for? Well, it's particularly for teams where not everybody is in the same place. But as I've said, this is actually most projects these days. But particularly if people are across time zones, the project needs to start quickly. We don't want to move people around the globe um, and the work must take place. If we just have a telephone conference, you can be sure most people will be doing emails during the conference and the team as a team will not work. So the format of the product is simple. We run th typically three three-hour sessions on three consecutive days. We have to explain the assignment, people have to get to know each other and then they have to have these debriefing sessions and so forth. And at the end of that we find that the, the typical team have increased their level of communication with each other um, in quite unexpected and positive ways. So that's the way that product works. If you have a team that is distributed, you want to get going quickly, you don't want to travel, either to save time or money or both, well then this is the product for you. Thanks very much.